On Sunday, 12 February 1809, a bouncing baby boy was born in the wealthy and influential family of Robert and Susanna Darwin. His parents named him Charles. Charles Darwin lost his mother when he was eight years old, and as he grew up, he realized that he was not a good student. Instead, Charles developed an interest in chemistry and natural life. At the time, the subject of science in public schools was viewed as dehumanizing, and Charles' interest in it turned his headmaster, who openly condemned him, and his schoolmates, who mischievously nicknamed him Gas, were against him. His father, realizing that his son was only interested in game shooting, made him an apprentice doctor to treat the poor of Shropshire in a bid to make him a responsible lad. Charles was later sent to study medicine at the University of Edinburgh's Medical School in 1825. However, Charles found the lectures dull and the surgical procedures distressing, so he quit his studies after about two years. At his father's instigation, Charles went on to study divinity at Christ College, Cambridge University. Though he wasn't a great student, he had enough time for his outdoor pursuits. He spent lots of time examining natural science and collecting beetles. His passion for natural science soon earned him a place on the HMS Beagle, where he acted as a natural scientist on a voyage to the coast of South America. It was on this expedition that Charles began to make more discoveries about natural life. At the time, religion was considered a powerful force in society, and most people erroneously interpreted the Bible to believe that the world was only a few thousand years old. Charles' first opposing discovery was the evidence of life being much older than a few thousand years. He found fossils that proved that animals indeed lived several thousands of years ago. For more than 20 years after, Charles studied and wrote on how different species evolved and how the same species could end up being quite different on different islands. After being influenced by the work of Thomas Malthus, Charles came up with the theory of natural selection and the theory of gradual evolution over time. To support his theories, Charles intensively bred plants. Though he was successful at proving his point, his ideas were so controversial that he delayed publishing them. It was only when he learned that Alfred Russell Wallace, another naturalist, had developed similar ideas that he published his work. In 1859, Charles published the groundbreaking book title On the Origin of Species Employing Natural Selection. The book gained widespread interest and attention immediately, leading to intense debate about the contention that man, by implication, was descended from animals like the ape. Today, Charles Darwin is recognized as one of the greatest scientists to ever live. And think about that. Most of us have big ideas, but we are too careful so that other people will not think that we are crazy. Yes. Even Darwin was concerned about other people's opinion, but the difference between him and most of us is that he never gives up. Darwin spent decades to prove his point, and those 20 years were filled with hard work as a lonely man. How long are you willing to pursue your dream? How many years are you willing to sacrifice? How many hours are you willing to work? And how many pleasures are you willing to sacrifice? Because at the end of the day, if you don't make the efforts to pursue your dreams, you'll die with your dreams, and that will be a disservice for your generation and the world. Get out and remain persistent until you achieve your big dreams. If you like this video, watch other videos from our channel. We love you.